Good morning again. In this session, we're going to review in command's rack elevation page. To get to a rack elevation, use part of the data center views menu and go down to rack elevation. At this point, you will see a rack elevation. You can scroll up and down if it doesn't fit in your screen just right, but let me make a few comments right off the bat. First, the question mark. It documents how to use this page and some of the terms in use on this page. Next is the legend. You see the color-coded legend here that tells you what these various colors on these devices mean. In this case, we're looking at functional groups. So Compute group is this beige color. The WAN telecom racks are darker brown. Infrastructure devices are green. Network devices brown and so forth. A third thing on this page is that we can look at the front of a rack or the back of the rack. Right now we're looking at the devices installed on the front of the rack. Clicking the rack back, we now see the devices that are installed on the rear mounting posts in the rack. And there are a few. Usually you have cable managers, switches, power strips, and whatnot that may be installed in the back of a rack. Returning to the rack front, I now have another drop down. Right now I'm looking at device names. You can see on each rack the device name of the device in the rack. And when you hover over a device name, it gives you the model in the pop-up. For example, this LA1 Dell 5 happens to be a Dell MD3260. This LA1 HP67 happens to be an HP ProLiant DL360 G7. But there are other ways to view the rack elevation. If I don't want to see device names, perhaps I want to see device front images. Clicking on the front image and the elevation repaint showing me what the devices look like with their proper face plates, etc. Once again, I can hover over a device, and now when I hover over a device, it gives me the device host name, LA1HP14, or this LA1 NetApp 5. I can also look at what the devices look like from the back images. So here's the same the same rack only now I'm seeing the back image of the devices in the racks. Finally I can look at device statuses. Clicking on device status I see the statuses. The blue means these devices are all active. The dark gray, these devices are reserved. So I would believe and understand that there are four devices that have reservations but haven't been installed yet and brought online. Returning to the device front images, one other thing to call out on the rack elevation. Any device can be clicked on. For example, this NetApp storage device. I click on the device and it opens up our familiar device detail page. It gives me closer up pictures of the front and back of the device. It has all the device field attributes here for me to review. It tells me what power circuits this device is connected to. It also tells me what cables are connected to this device, and it gives me the device history. In this case, this device had a troubleshooting event where it had a power supply problem on March 16th of 2017. I'll close the device detail page, and that pretty much concludes the feature functionality of the rack elevation page. Perhaps I should say one more thing. As I scroll down, I can click on this scroll bar at the bottom and I can see additional rows 
of racks. And I can frankly keep scrolling and clicking and see the entire data center in a rack elevation view. Going back up to the top, here's racks A1 through A8. We've already talked about feature functionality. So I will return to the map. And this concludes our review of InCommand's rack elevation page. Thank you and have a great day.